Trump just went off record on flight, reveals huge surprise he has for America after he lands. Trump was on a Paris trip, cruising at high altitudes on Air Force, and he held the tradition of presidents chatting with the press corps on the aircraft. Chatting with the press isn't his favorite hobby, or is it, but he enjoys hearing himself speak and turning mere quotes into viral masterpieces. Trump was officially off the record at first, but it seems a little poking went a long way as we're now emboldened to a few dabs of information from the chats between Trump and whatever press corps were lucky enough to be on Air Force One. Here's a few tips for taste. The president, a big thing we have with China was, if they could help us with North Korea, that would be great. They have pressures that are tough pressures, and I understand. And you know, don't forget, China over the many years, has been at war with Korea, you know, wars with Korea. It's not like, oh, gee, you just do whatever we say. They've had numerous wars with Korea. They have an 8,000-year culture. So when they see 1776, to them, that's like a modern building. The White House was started, was essentially built in 1799. To us, that's really old. To them, that's like a super modern building, right? So, you know, they've had tremendous conflict over many, many centuries with Korea. So it's not just like, you do this. But we're going to find out what happens. President Trump addressed China and North Korea. Trump babbled on about how the age of the White House is new to them, but told to us. He mentioned how China and North Korea have lived a life of conflict. Trump also mentioned that it would be great if China could lend a hand with the North Korea issues. I suppose that means joining arms in battle. Other than that, this talk about North Korea and China didn't say much. It was nothing more than small talk, fluff, and virtually useless information that we would have guessed ourselves. Phew you were joking about solar, right? The president, no, not joking, no. There is a chance that we could do a solar wall. We have major companies looking at that. Look, there's no better place for solar than the Mexico border, the southern border. And there is a very good chance we can do a solar wall, which would actually look good. But there is a very good chance we could do a solar wall. Trump tells us three times, in one paragraph, breath, that there's a very good chance we could do a solar wall. I mean a really good chance. Definitely a chance. There's also a chance that I win the Powerball one night, but there's definitely a chance. I have good people looking at it. There's certainly a chance I win Powerball. It would be fairly cool to have a solar-powered border wall, but how long would that actually last? Would people rip it down, throw rocks at it, or destroy it some other way? If a solar wall on the Mexican border provided electricity to Mexico too, then would they be okay with the border wall existing? If the wall provided power for everyone, then why would anyone have a problem with it? One of the things with the wall is you need transparency. You have to be able to see through it. In other words, if you can't see through that wall, so it could be a steel wall with openings, but you must have openings because you have to see what's on the other side of the wall. And I'll give you an example. As horrible as it sounds, when they throw the large sacks of drugs over, And if you have people on the other side of the wall, you don't see them, they hit you on the head with 60 pounds of stuff. It's over. As crazy as that sounds, you need transparency through that wall. But we have some incredible designs. I agree with the transparent wall idea, but I don't know anyone who can throw a 60 pounds package over a tall wall. Maybe they can send it up the wall with a pulley system and drop it off the other side. But I don't know of anyone who can throw 60 pounds over a wall that will likely be at least 20-30 feet high. Maybe they'll bring the catapult back into action. I can imagine people shooting guns through the wall. Or perhaps some other weird shenanigans, or even throwing lighter packages over the wall. But that will come with any wall, transparent or not. The transparency allows people to be aware of the other side. I'm just wondering who would be hanging out at the wall and why would they be there? Perhaps we can slide drugs through the wall and not even have to cross the border with them. 
President Trump spoke about Don Trump Jr.'s meeting with the Russian and blew it off as nothing. He did so because if a Russian contacted anyone on the left and suggested that they had info on then-presidential nominee, Donald Trump, that any Democrat would take that meeting right away. Further talks included press corps asking about Putin tipping the election and Trump explained that Putin said he had nothing to do with it. Trump consistently blows it off, refers questions better suited for Putin to Putin. In other words, if the press corps have questions about Putin, then they should ask Putin. Trump stated that he would invite Putin to the White House when the time is right, but the time is not right. I disagree. I think the time is always right and it infuriate leftists into their biggest meltdown yet. I think we should call Putin and get him to the White House. Let's see how that collusion really feels. The left has been telling everyone they're colluding with Russia, so maybe the right should finally start doing it. After all, the left seems to think it happened, so may as well make it happen. Give the liberals a dream come true so we can watch them melt like candles on the hood of a Volvo in Arizona. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe Breaking News 365 channel. Goodbye and see you again.